Leave this to harden for a bit, but then we'll uh, uh, take the tag. So I think 150 is okay. That one seems to have gone a long way inside. Thank you, guys. With these animals, they uh, they're migratory, and that means they travel long distances. So these this species will go thousands of kilometers. So they will actually go across the Pacific. Um, they can stay underwater for a long time, so maybe one and a half hours without breathing. When they come up to the surface to take a breath, it's maybe just for one second. And so it's very, very difficult to follow them across the ocean. So with modern technology, we've been able to get a tiny little satellite transmitter here. We've got three little batteries, just AA batteries. And this one should last for about seven to eight hundred days. So it's about two years. So what should happen, when this is underwater, two little switches on the top, turn the transmitter off. When it comes up to the top to take a breath, the antenna sticks out of the water and it sends a message up to a satellite out in space. That information then goes down to Argos in France, is the company that owns the satellites, and we can then get the information by email or from the uh, World Wide Web. And we, 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 we won't get every position, but we should get some places where it is. So what this means is, is over time, we should be able to see where it leaves from Patok, if it goes north to Croatia or Trieste, if it goes down into the Ionian Sea, uh, Detillon, um, and whatever. I mean, it might go out into the Atlantic and down into Africa, down into West Africa. Uh, Any more photos? Or shall we let go? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay.